Hey riders, how you doing? It's uh, another ride home review. I am out of town this week, so I thought that this would be a good time for a recap. Um, over the last couple months, I've saw several movies uh, for the spring edition of 2018. Um, once again, don't forget to subscribe to uh, me on YouTube, uh, follow, uh, like me on Facebook, and follow on Instagram, as well as if you like things on the go, you like audio only, this will be uh, on Anchor, as well as on iTunes. So watch out for that there. Anyhow, uh, moving right into it, uh, I saw seven movies, I believe, over the last couple months. Um, this was probably not the strongest of uh, the last couple months for films, uh, or at least the ones that I saw. And so... Um, so yeah, I mean, there was one that really stood out, and but the rest of them kind of fell into kind of this mediocre, meh kind of area. And uh, so um, yeah, let's let's get into. It. I mean, I saw. Let's see, we got a Wrinkle in Time, Thoroughbreds, Uns Unsane, Isle of Dogs, A Quiet Place, um, you know, uh, Ready Player One. So we had a couple of semi-blockbusters, uh, but anyway, uh, that's the way it really shook out. So let's get into what I thought was great in this last couple of months, what I thought stood out. So first of all, um, uh, A Quiet Place was probably the best uh, movie out of this crop um, for the simple fact that it just was outstanding. Um, I liked the story. Although someone mentioned a, an interesting plot hole um, to me the other day uh, that I didn't even gather because I'm not a farmer. So that I felt was the best uh, overall uh, uh, film out of this crop. Um, moving on to, uh, you know, the best actor, I thought, John Krasinski, of course, um, starring in uh, A Quiet Place. And uh, best actress, of course, Emily Blunt. I thought that they did a wonderful job in that film. Um, so they're just going to walk away uh, with all that. Uh, you know, and moving on to the Best Supporting Actor. Um, for this crap, I believe I would give that to Mark Relance in Ready Player One. I thought his role in that was just outstanding. Just outstanding. Great, great, great. Uh, he just made the movie. Um, and it was his character that really brought it, uh, brought it to life. So, um, best supporting actress, I got to give it to Millicent, um, from, uh, uh, A Quiet Place. Um, she was just powerful in that film, just powerful. And I really enjoyed what she did in that, in that movie. Um, so... Moving on to away from the acting portion, or the best ensemble cast. Let's do that. Best ensemble cast had to have been Isle of Dogs. Um, that was just a monumental amount of voice work and voice actors in that. And Wes Anderson did a great job in bringing those folks in um, who like to work with Wes Anderson and keep on moving. So there's that. Um, and then we get into best directing. Got to give it to A Quiet Place. Uh, it was just that movie was just top notch and then cinematography um i know this is more art direction and animation but i got to give that one to isle of dogs as well i thought that that they did a w wonderful job in developing that world there um best editing definitely ready player one ready player one going from virtual reality to actual reality was an incredible feat in and of itself um so um and the worst movie out of the bunch I'm sorry, but A Wrinkle in Time wins that role. So I thought that that was the most disappointing film out of all of them, with Unsane coming in as a second. Uh, well, maybe not Unsane, but, uh, you know, it was just, it was, Wrinkle in Time was very disappointing. So there you have it. That's my uh, recap for uh, these last couple months. Um, stay tuned. Next week uh, will be Avengers Infinity War. And also, don't forget, subscribe on YouTube. Like on Facebook. Follow me. Anchor and iTunes. See you next week.